Rabotai, this, this story is literally a story that happened to me this Friday. And to hear it again and again, for myself, it's just something mind-boggling. Now we know, in life, what's the greatest mitzvah out of all the mitzvot is? Limut Torah, there's no, there's no uh, Talmud Torah, Kene Kulam, we know that. And we know that the Yetzirah, to stop you from learning, he'll do everything and anything in his power to stop you from learning. It's the most amazing thing. And I see through my own life how many times the Yetzirah really tries to stop learning Torah, stop me learning, stop anybody to learn. You know, a guy finally, uh, I remember, it happened to me, and, and, and you know the story, but it's so powerful. I'm going to say this one, but I was calling El Al for my ticket to go to Israel to fly. You know, back in the day when I was going back to Yeshiva, I was, I was there for like a few years, going back and forth. I was calling El Al, you know, book a ticket. Now, book a ticket, they have El Al Shalom, welcome to, you know, and he's on the thing, on the thing, on the thing, waiting, 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 waiting. And they don't, it, it, at that, maybe they have it now, but at that time, they didn't say, oh, 20 minutes till somebody's going to get to you or will call you back, nothing like that. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm, waiting, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, maybe, maybe next, next time. I waited literally for, for 10 minutes straight, I'm like thinking about what's going on over here. I'm not wasting my life over here. I went ahead, I opened up my Gemara, I go, I go to my bookshelf, I take my Gemara, I open it right, like, you know, it's on speakerphone, right? That's what's on speaker. I open up my Gemara, I'm about to start reading what he says. And then, hello, how are you? How can I help you? Hello, shalom, how can I help you? I was like, why, 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 why? So Yetzirah, Yetzirah, he'll make you stop learning, make the girl, oh, hey, how are you, I can help you. What? Only to stop you learning your Torah. He'll do anything to stop you learning your Torah. You have to understand that, no, we're good. So now let me tell you what happened on Friday morning, this Friday morning at 10.30. I go in 10.30, and somebody tells me, Right, Palachi is talking to me, he's like, there's a very hard sugya in a ribit. Ribit, in the topic of ribit, everybody knows, interest, the sugyot of interest in Baba Metziah is very, it's very, very difficult. And, uh, and he tells him, are you up for the challenge? Sure, let's do it. I go in 10.30 Bay Midrash, it was me, Rabbi Sa'in and Rabbi Saruri were sitting down, and Rabbi Saruri, Rabbi Sa'in says, okay, I asked them, you mind if I join you? I heard it says, hard to get, I want to join you. He says, B'chavo. Sitting there, and I'm telling you, it was a, a deep, it was a deep sugya, it was deep. E- even the Pashuk Pshat was just deep. Figuring it out, how does it work, when a person invests with somebody else, how if he gives them, let's say, for example, he invests with them $100,000, $50,000 is considered a loan, another $50,000 is considered picador, back and forth with that she's, and it was hard. And figuring it out, each step on step. So, I'm in it. My Gemara is in it. I'm in it fully, fully, full kawak, full kawak. Comes 11.30. 11.30 a.m. on a Friday afternoon. This past Friday, there's a fellow in the Beit Midrash comes over to Rabbi son and says, Rabbi, give me your key and I'll move for alternate sides. I'll move your car. It's 11.30 spot. I'll move it. I'll get you a parking list. So anybody who knows me, like, like I'm thinking, wait, wait, oh, I also parked alternate sides, right? Now, I didn't know this person. Uh, I was going to tell him, oh, move my car to it. I don't even know who that person is. Like, you know, like, I was like, eh. so I said, really, honestly, I, I said, Something happens, you know, okay, fine, I'll also move it. He said, now that he got out, I was getting his ticket. He said, I'll go, I'll get. So I put on my jacket. Now, when I'm learning, my, my phone is off or in my jacket in the coat room, you know, so it's not going to. So I go get my jacket in the coat room. My phone's in the coat room. And all of a sudden, I put on my jacket. 
I put on my scarf, I go inside my car, the second I go inside my car to move it for the alternate size, I feel my phone vibrate, I pick it up, who is it? Who is it? It's one of my brothers. And he says, you know, I'm away, and my father was away, and my other brother was away, and, and he came out and said, everybody's basically away, and we're not in town. Um, we just heard that there's like a, something smelling in electrically fire type in our office. It's a real emergency. You can go right away. Nobody else can go. Can you go emergency? Of course. We're going to go. We're going to go. I go there. I check. It really was. It really was. It was electric. And we shut it off. And we had to call Con Edison. And they shut it off. Making sure everything was secure. And everything was secure. Then it took about, about 45 minutes. You can imagine. I come back to Vemidrash. And now I see my Gemara that was open is closed. Who closed it? The rabbis that was learning with the right side of Rabbi Sir, they closed it. Oh, we thought you flaked on us. You know, a hard, a hard piece like that. You thought maybe you bailed out. You know, you got to get to it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. How is that? You know? So I was like, no, you, no I, I kept the learning. I didn't want to stop. I kept the learning. And I said, no, no, rabbis, please, you have to understand what's going on over here. The Yetzara is so strong, the, the, the chances are one in a trillion. What's the chances that second that I he comes at 11.30 to move my car to, to alternate size, it happens to be that second. There's electric uh, something, like, uh, they get a phone call, there's something coming along in the office, that same exact second? I told him the Yetzir and I caused that for me to go out, for me to put on my jacket, for me to hold my vibrator for the phone, pick up the phone actually, and go see, hey, hey, you want to go there, go there. Look what the Yetzir and I will do. Look what it'll do to stop someone from learning Torah for one moment. You have to be on your game. You have to be on your game. A lot of times the Yetzir is going to try to get you, especially in the Torah world. Especially in the Torah world, things are moving. You know, oh, after this, after that, after this, after that. Just not to be a chacham. Just not to be a learned person. Just not to learn. You tell the guy, come on, come in the night seder, come learn a little bit. All right, but tonight I have my uh, cousin's friend's daughter's wedding. Azaku baruch. No, but Rabbi, they're serving lamb chops. So, that he like. So, so what? He comes sit and stay. You know what they're gonna serve you after 120 and they're gonna give you the biggest the the the, the, the taste and the and the sweetness of, of the uh, of the ganad of the reward is tremendous. You can't imagine. If you would see you you would tell me, Rabbi, why didn't you come to me and, and smack me around, tell me, come on, the shiur Torah learning. This is what it is, Rabbotai. It's not a joke. Yet Torah wants to stop a person from learning Torah. I'm talking to myself. Because I see it time and time again. I see it time and time and time and time and time again. I'm involved. I'm getting more into the learning. I'm getting more into the learning. I'm getting more into the learning. Even higher. Ah, ah, something happens. But I'll never forget. I remember I'm in the shul. This shul over here. I did a I'm here. I said, this is my hideout. You know, sometimes, you know, people know, you, oh, 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 Rabbi learns in this, and that. so sometimes I want to hide, I want to hide, I said, this week, I'm going to sit and steig till my, till my brain's pop off, like, 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 like I'm going to just steig, this is like, you know what I mean, daddy, you expression, I'm going to forget about it, I'm going to steig, so if I don't want to steig, they, they know, sometimes they get busy, people know, oh, hey, the phone, no phones, no nothing, no zero, no, no, so I sat and learning here, over here, I said, I'm going to learn here, put my, put my stuff away, put it over here, oh, I'm saying that to learn. Happens to be, happens to be, that day, listen to this, we're waiting six months, you listening to this? We're waiting six months for mill work to come. You know what mill work is? The, the, the mechitzat for the ladies the, to build the mechitzat. Waiting six months for him to come. Every time I call him, where are you? You coming? I'm not coming. Could he make it? No. That happens to be that day, 
He didn't even call me. He just came, knocked on the door. He got the call, I guess, from the Gabai or something like that. And now you have six guys with exactly where I'm learning. This is the way the is getting the word. I was like, Shema Yisrael. I can't concentrate. I go, I go to different. I go to different space in the Beit Midrash. I go, this is upstairs. We have a downstairs. I go 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 downstairs. All of a sudden, what happens? One of the guys come in. Oh, Rabbi, we need you to see what type of glass you want for the Mahitza. And he tells me, this is what he tells me. It's a true story that happened. I can tell you after the video. I'll tell you exactly who came in and, 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 and did this. But listen, he tells me, Rabbi, we want to we wanna get the, 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 the glass on correctly. Um, I said, okay, so get the glass. No, 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 we need your approval on something. I said, okay, show me. He says, no, 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 we can't bring the glass. He's like, you can have a picture, you have something. No, 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 we have not. He says, so what's going on? He says, no, no, the glass guy is literally on the corner, two small blocks. I'll drive you in and out. Two, it'll really take literally, literally three minutes. In the whole procedure, we're just going to show it to you. I go there. We drive there. Okay, so three minutes, okay, three minutes quickly. Boom, boom, boom. I'm thinking, oh, I like this glass, like that glass. Okay, fine. That one, that one, that one, that's it. All of a sudden, I go in there. Guy says, okay, how are you, Rabbi? How are you doing? So I said, okay, what glass? He says, no, do you want a double coated glass? Now he starts telling me a double coated glass. What's, what's a double coated glass? And he starts explaining double coated glass. It's not just one slash of glass, it's two slashes of glass. Uh, what's the gain of that? Oh, you don't understand. It protects from the cold weather. You see, you have a double sheet of glass. I'm not saying this is indoors. And it's an indoor mechitza for, for a thing. I don't need no outside. Oh, but you're not. Okay, fine. You don't need anything. Okay, fine. Next. No, but this. I said, like, what is it? No, but do you want tempered or you're not tempered? He's like, what do you mean? He starts explaining what tempered glass is, that they, 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 they put something inside the glass where if it ever cracks, then it comes in shattered and thin, thin. And he keeps on going and he starts explaining. I'm telling you, I had a whole glass shiur about every glass. Uh, you wanted sandblasted, you wanted this color coated, you wanted this, you wanted that, what tint you want. Before you know it, I could promise you that day, that day, I could promise you, that day I had my schedule set that I was going to learn the whole day from the morning. They say, oh, I'm going to follow my schedule. Okay, this is okay. Then the only thing I gave the glass, I thought it was going to take three minutes. It ended up taking my whole entire day. I came home and I said, Come on! But he got me. He got me. That's what he wanted to do. Just to stop learning Torah. You know what's going on over here? Just to stop learning for Torah. He'll create things. He'll do things. What do we have to do? Chazak. Chazak. Oh, now finally the guy sits and he's ready to learn. Finally. Oh, wait, wait. I forgot my coffee, Rabbi. Now he goes downstairs in the coffee room. Now he speaks to another guy. Did you see this? Did you see that? Oh, he realizes there's no milk. True story, by the way. He realizes there's no milk. How can you drink coffee without a milk? Right? Does he call it? Rabbi, I know I just came to shoot, but listen, I'm going to the supermarket. It's down the bottom. I'm going to go pick up the milk and come right back. It's like, why? It's like, you know, I need, I, I, the people need milk. I was like, okay, the people need milk. I will get somebody else that's on the way to shoot. No, no, I, I want the mitzvah. <laughs> oh, you want that mitzvah, but you're losing on the mitzvah. You see how the answer <laughs> It's good. And he went, and he's so excited. He finally came after 15, 20 minutes with his milk. Now I go, 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 and bomb in the shoe. He, 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 I don't know what you're talking. Can you start from the beginning? And I have the. It's just a little bit, by the way. This is just a little, little tinge. How the answer that plays his tricks for a person to stop his learning Torah. All of a sudden, now he's tired. I'll never forget. I was tired. I was really, really, really tired. Personal story with me. I was really, really, really tired. And I told um, I told my friend, listen, could you, are you around? He's like, yeah. All right, I told him, could you pick me up from the cool I just got to put my head down. and go home for an hour. I'll come right back. I said, sure, no problem. I'll pick you up. He's right, right around the block. He comes around the block. picks me up. He says, do you mind if I stop at this uh, bakery, whatever? I was like, no, no problem. He comes out. With this craziest cheesecake you ever saw in your life. It wasn't like a strawberry cheesecake. It was strawberry top with this, top with that. I'm telling you, it was Meshugana. I'm like, look at it. Whoa. And I'm dead tired. I'm planning to go just put my head in head to sleep. He said, Oh, I got you a piece. I'm like, oh. It's like, 
It's like, you want to eat it? I was like, yeah, I really wanted to eat it. But I was like, wait, I know if I eat it, then you go to sleep on, on, on a stomach of a cheesecake. I was like, oh, man. I was like, I said, you know what? Take me back to the I got up. <laughs> For the cheesecake, the, I was sort of up. I'm all of a sudden I'm up. I say, take it back to the car. Don't take it back to the car. I'm back to the car. If I could be up to have a mind, but the cheesecake, not the cheesecake. And he's getting, no, not just the cheesecake. I got a, uh, oh, a hot cappuccino latte. I know what he got. With a latte, with the, have the, the cream on top, with the cinnamon on top, and a caramel swirl. I was like, what's going on? I got me, I'm like, take me, I'll take both of it in the car. I said, like, go back to the car. I go back. He took me back. I, I said, that. So what is that? All of a sudden, now I'm not tired. You see a good piece of cheesecake and a nice crazy caramel latte with the with the with the with the whipped cream and the, I don't know what he put on that thing, you know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden now you're up. I said, "Go back there." I said, "Go back there. Take me back to the cool hill. I said, "Go take me back to the cool hill. Go back to the cool hill. I went back to the cool hill. Ay 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 ay. Hey, what's going on over here? I'm about to die. True story, my friend. He comes to Israel for the year. All of a sudden, what happens? That Saturday, he's like, what happened? Oh, you didn't hear? He's like, what happened? The whole world is coming to an end. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, you heard 9-11, the thing all night, Twin Towers, no, he, he flew back, he was too scared. I was like, yeah, it's not allowed, make the whole night. Like, what, what, what? The whole world is coming to collapse. People... What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? The Yetzirah will not stop. Will not stop. You're learning Torah. I'll do whatever it takes for you to stop learning. That, that's the bottom line. They'll do whatever it takes to you. Especially now if you're learning, learning, learning. Okay. I'll stop you from this way. I'll stop you from that way. I'll do this. I'll do that. And even it, and it consistently, 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 consistently. You have to be very, very careful and very on the game. Very on the game. And you'll see it in your own personal life. Mark my words. And he'll say, oh, Apache, you're so right. How many times every time I'm about to learn this and this happens? Remember the story I'm telling you about the electric fire that went right here about 11.30 exactly? Remember that story. And share this. Share this clip that people, Kizuk, with the learning of the Torah, how a person must understand and must realize that it's, real, it's a real battle. It's a real battle. It's a battle to learn the Torah the Yetzirah will stop you and we got to go forward and forward and forward and forward and never stop, Mizalashem.